Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be starting up our brand new Let's Play, that being Pokemon Desolation. Now before I get into today's new Let's Play, there are a few things that I do want to talk about real quick, so yeah. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of the developers and anybody else that has helped out with the making of Pokemon Desolation. I have said it multiple times throughout different videos on this channel that Pokemon Desolation is my third favorite Pokemon fan made game of all time and I am extremely excited to be able to play through the latest version so yeah. Before I ramble any further, again, thank you to all of the developers and anybody that has helped out with the making of the game. I really do appreciate it. And I guess with that, we'll get into the final thing that I do want to get into as well. And that is pretty much talking about me and a little bit about the channel. This is mainly for possibly any new viewers that are possibly new to the channel that may want some info about me and the channel before continuing on so yeah as always if you simply just don't care or you may have seen other let's plays that you know what i'm about to say there should be a timestamp in the comment section below if i forget apologies in advance i'll try not to forget sometimes somebody is kind enough to remember and they'll do it themselves so if that happens in advance thank you i really do appreciate it and if not hopefully i won't forget but um before i ramble any further let's get into um some info about me hi good morning i hope you have been well plain and simply i am a very boring chill down the earth repetitive stupid forgetful kind of person that is probably the best way i could summarize myself so yeah overall if you're looking for something that's a little that's a little bit sorry uh more fun exciting happy uplifting loud anything like that i am far from that again i'm more on the chill down the earth kind of side so yeah overall like i always like to say i know i am not for everybody but hopefully a few of you guys may enjoy this series so i guess with that out of the way let's get a little bit into the channel itself I've always liked to say that this is a Pokemon channel, more so Pokemon fan made games, but I do plan to very soon once um, Pokemon Reborn is finished, I plan to get into a official Pokemon game. Uh, pretty much we're going to be doing a Pokemon Black Hardcore Nuzlocke Randomized Challenge, and hopefully if we complete that challenge, we'll continue going down the line with other um, official Pokemon games doing some hardcore Nuzlocke challenges so yeah mainly it's going to be fan made games but I do want to branch out into the official Pokemon games and possibly different kind of Pokemon videos as well we'll see what happens in the future and I guess another type of video that I like to do and play is RPG to the pixel style of games more specifically RPG horror RPG story rich kind of games I guess a few examples of some of the ones we've done on the channel is a Mori, Eeb, uh, Blank Dream. There's a few examples there. I, currently, I believe we have um, one shot going on right now. And after that, we're going to be getting into the Crooked Man. So hopefully that gives you a general idea of what style of games that I enjoy playing and making videos of. So yeah, but I guess with that being said, and before I ramble on any further, Let's get into Pokemon Desolation, and we will be starting a brand new game. Oh, and by the way, hopefully the music or the sound in the background is fine. If not, next episode, it should be fine. I did some testing before. Every, everything, sorry, seems okay to me, but again, if it's too loud or too quiet, I will definitely make sure next episode that it is much more better. No, this can't be happening. It's not, it's, it's not working, sorry. After everything I've tried, darn it. This, this can't be the end. You're, you're all that I have left. I can't lose you to Darkrai. Please, don't go. 
Wait, what's happening? Darkrai, what are you... Wait. Many, many years later. Oh, come on. Unfreeze, you stupid machine. Darn it. Of course it only crashes after it's taken my money. This is why I don't go near the city's guys. Or city guys, sorry. Fine, let's play by my rules. I'll show you how we fix things a little further out of town. Ava, wait. Okay, that was totally uncalled for. Just hold on, would you? It takes a little while to... Ava, stop hitting the poor thing. Wait, it unfroze. It's working. Trainer registration booting up. Oh my god. It's her. Guys, look. It's Rosetta. I can't contain myself. Good evening, tourist. It's not too long now until you reach Celia, the city of dreams. You're coming to what most call the perfect city, the hub for, for those from all walks of life. And for you, perhaps, the place where you can reach for the very stars. But before that, there's a few things we need to finalize together. Let's get started, shall we? As you may already know, my name is Rosetta. I'm the fairy type, gym leader, and star idol of Celia City. And I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll be guiding you through the registration process. To begin, Celi or Celia City is the capital of the Irith Islands. As you will know from your handbooks, Irith, and again, sorry if I pronounce it wrong. As you can probably tell already, I suck at speaking and pronouncing words, so uh, bear with me there. Is composed of numerous small islands, making it one of the most expensive regions in the world. There's everything you could possibly imagine, beautiful cities, an incredible night, flight, night life, boundless mountains, and forests. Not to mention, one of the richest battling cultures in the world. In that regard, the doors of Ar the doors of Ar Arith, sorry, are open to everyone. Now, before you enter the region, you just need to take care of a few chores. Simply follow me as I navigate you through the prompts on your screen. Let's get started. Do you know, or do you need to know the controls? I do not. Excellent. Now let's talk about this region's fantastic battling culture and the Atherith, At, Arith, God, I'm going to screw that up so many times. Uh, region, we have a vast host of 12 gym leaders you can work towards, one of them being me. If you defeat them all, you may be one of the very few trainers to face Arith's Elite Four. However, if you don't collect a gym badge, if you don't collect gym badges, sorry, your Pokemon may respond differently to you as they grow. Now come on, let's set up your trainer card, shall we? Firstly, what do you identify as? Uh, boy. Excellent. Next, what look do you think best suits you? Uh... Please choose a particular look to see more. Hmm. So I really do enjoy that they actually added more characters you could choose from. Because I think originally it was two, if I'm not mistaken, two or four. So I'm glad that they added some more pro tags you could choose. Um, back then I would just choose this guy. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this one. Mainly because it's kind of the closest thing to Pokemon Rejuvenation's pro tag. Um, Alon is the one that I normally play as, so... I'm not sure, actually. Let me just look through them all, actually, and just choose one that I think looks cool. And plus, then again, I do want to check out all of these sprites. I, I think it's definitely worth looking at all of them. They're honestly all really good. I like them all. Yeah, I think no matter what, I'm probably just going to go with this one because it looks the most like a lawn. Are you sure this is your preferred look? I think so. We'll go with it. Nice. You're looking pretty good. Okay, next up. Would you mind telling me your name? 
Um, as I normally choose... Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Spelled it wrong there a few times. Uh, normally for all of them, I just go with Alon from Rejuvenation. I suck at choosing names, so just to keep it plain and simple, we'll just go with Alon for pretty much any future uh, Pokemon game. So your name is Alon. Great, you're good to go. Now it's time for your journey to begin. You will soon be arriving in Celia, the City of Dreams. Good luck, trainer. Wait, no. Rosetta, please. Don't go. We just met. Just like that, my idol is gone forever. You know, that wasn't actually Rosetta, right? It was like a computer program. You know, an old recording. Whatever. Beats listening to you. Where's the trainer card anyways? My hard-earned cash went into this piece of laminate plastic. Your cash? Um, didn't the league pay for that card as well as our- as- as well as our rooms here? You know, since you're a gym leader and all. So what you're saying is that my sheer talent paid for these rooms, right? A gym leader like myself shouldn't have to settle for anything less than VIP. A trainer card slides out of a tray above the screen. Alon received a Arith League trainer card. Well, well. Guess the computer realized who it was working for, huh? Right. Whatever. The case... Whatever the case, money well spent, yeah? Oh, hey. Wait a second. Alon, it looks like there's another pop-up on your computer. Trainer, please advise. Do you have any passwords for the system to register? Um... No. Uh, normally for like, like a first time playthrough, um, well, to be fair, I've played through Desolation, well, technically on their older version, on, I think I found the game during version like 3, if I'm not mistaken. I played a few games like 4, 4 or 5 on an older uh, laptop until it kind of ended up breaking. Uh, maybe one day I'll get into that dumb story, but um... On this computer, I think I only have one complete file and then one that I've barely started, but that was during version 4, and I haven't done a brand new one of version 5 besides uh, this one here, and I don't intend to because I don't really want to spoil myself on some of the new story stuff since they have said before that they did uh, rechange a few things within the story of the game, so... I don't have any intentions of spoiling myself or anything like that, so, yeah. But for the most part, I do remember a decent amount of what goes on, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you, but anyways, I know I rambled there. Um, password stuff, since this is a brand new series, I don't have any intentions of using the passwords. They may be convenient, but I don't want to use them right now. Maybe when we get through this first one... I might check out the passwords, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, system shutting down. So, the computer is finally is finally leaving you alone. Excellent. Now that we've got that chore sorted, I'm down for a feast. Well, on league expense, of course. Isn't this like a bad use of money that it isn't even... It's called a holiday, sweetheart. Treat yourself. Uh, if you say so, Ava. I'd best go and get ready then. I'll meet you guys up there, okay? Uh, how is she such a goody-good all the time? I've got to try to be nicer to her, but the sarcasm just, you know, spills out sometimes. So I see a little sparkly thing. Oh, I guess she's not done. Celia, huh? It sure has been a while since I went back there. Even before the three of us went traveling together, I've kind of avoided the big city. Rosetta's right, it's full of opportunity for sure. And for someone like you, who wants to kick off their training career, it's pretty unmatched. But I don't know, it just not, it's just not the same as home back in Dark Root. The folk on the street aren't exactly trustworthy, and that's not to mention that awful gang that hangs around there. Money talks, I guess. The point, Alon, is that it's not safe to outsiders like us, so we'll have to watch each other's back, okay? Ew, what just came over me talking like that? 
I've been on this dumb boat for too long. Come on, let's go get some chow. I'm starving. Go and grab Scarlet while you're at it, okay? Sounds like a plan. But real quick... Oh. Your quest log has just been updated. Quest log makes a record of all of your current and past in-game quests, including their objectives. You can use the quest log to record your progress in the main story as well as keeping track of any side jobs during your travels. You can access the quest log by by using your poke gear found in the main menu. So let me actually check that out real quick. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And then, well, I don't want to mess with the jukebox. So is there a... There is a speed up, thankfully. Objects of potential importance may sparkle, indicating that you should seek them out. There are numerous books and, fa and pamphlet pamphlets, sorry, mostly related to tourism and Aerith. Read one of the pamphlets. Um, yeah, we'll read them all. Uh, Celia Island is a small island entirely occupied by Celia City or the City of Dreams, as it is often dubbed. Celia City is generally described as mankind's crown jewel within Aerith, making up the majority of the region's entire population. The city is split into a central metropolis, metropolis, however you pronounce that, with four subsidiary wings surrounding it. Each wing house its own unique culture, meaning that there is something for everyone. The gym leaders of Celia include the beautiful, determined, and sweet Rosetta, the stern and dependable Aaron, the cool, calm, and collected Reeve, and finally the gruff, beaten, and generally irresponsible Garrett. I'm very excited to meet up with Garrett again. I would say he's one of my favorites. All gym leaders, for better or worse, bestow their own values upon the culture of their district. Celia City is a must-see for any trainer visiting Arith. So come now, fulfill your dreams in Celia City. Amaria Island is an enormous, generally uninhabited island populated by rich, diverse biomes with a scattering of local towns. The main population of Amaria Island can be found at Celia's neighboring city, Blackview. Blackview City sets the blueprint for the city life within the region and although it falls short in several areas, it remains a modern marvel in Arith and testament to how far we have come as a population. Amaria Island is also home to numerous large mountains and beautiful expanse of forest. If an outdoor bush hiking adventurer is what you crave, Amaria is the island for you. Arcanius Island is potentially the most beautiful and renowned island in Arif due to hulking vistas and beautiful neon colored forests. However, Arcanius, however you pronounce that, is also generally unsafe to explore alone, so please make sure you are accompanied by an experienced local tour guide. Come and explore Arcanius today. Cool, cool. And I gotta keep in mind the sparkly thing, because um, if I remember correctly, there is a few events that can lead to some unfortunate circumstances. That I gotta keep in mind. I don't want to spoil, you know, too much of what I know, so I'll leave it at that. Oh goodness me. Children, did you see those awful looking people with the blue robes and their evil competus looks? However you pronounce that word, I know I got it wrong. Uh, they're definitely gangsters through and through, just like those thugs from Celia. I'll tell you what, nowhere is safe. You know what? I just can't risk it. It's too dangerous for you two to be wondering about. From now on, no leaving the VIP wing. We're staying right here where it's safe. Mom, what the hell? That's so unfair. It's probably nothing, okay? They're probably just weirdos from Amaria Island dressed like that. Please don't make us stay here. There's nothing cool on this side of the ship. No, no, and no. Absolutely not. While those creeps are skulking around this boat, we're staying right here. Come on, stop stop your whining. I'm doing my best as your mother to keep you both safe after all. 
I'm tired of these strange, raggedy, good for nothing, uh, decrepits, or des something, ruining our neighborhood. Come on, Mom, this is so unfair. Besides, this isn't our neighborhood to begin with. We're literally on a boat at sea. You can't claim the ocean. Oh no, not again. Darn it. Where did I put it? It's not here. Oh, it's certainly not here. Does Ava know how to tidy up? Ah, it's just nowhere. It doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, how did I mess this up? Ava is taking me to the VIP area for lunch and I don't even have a nicer outfit. This is so embarrassing and it's all the fuel she needs to bully me. Uh, whatever. I'll just have to... Oh, uh, Alon. Oh gosh, this is so awkward. I was just, well... I was just trying to find something better to wear for the VIP dinner area, but this is all I've got, really. Yeah, this whole situation is just falling apart. Oh, you must be here to hurry me along, right? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take so long. I mean, this whole outfit thing has just turned into a bit of a disaster. I don't know, maybe it's actually fine, and I'm just worrying for no reason. I mean, what do you think, Alon? Is this outfit okay for the VIP dining room? Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. I honestly, I only wear like one kind of like outfit and all. I rarely change how I look at all, so I'm fine with it. And I don't really think it's a big deal overall. I think you're just overthinking it. Oh well, perfect. That's actually really reassuring a lot. Your reputation, reputation with Scarlet increase slightly. Reputation points are given or removed for each character depending on choices you make and how you treat them. If you do or say something a character likes, their dialogue will appear green and reputation points specific to that character will be rewarded. However, if you do or say something they dislike, the text will appear red and you will lose reputation points for that. Uh, for that character, sorry. Your actions will have consequences. So Alon, are you excited for Celia? There's so many great things there honestly, the music, the nightlife, the food, the people, and not to mention Rosetta of course. You know, I might even get battling a try of myself, just maybe, but for now, there's no better place to get started, right? Oh wow, I really am trailing off, huh? You did come here to hurry me along after all. Come on Alon, I'll meet you there. At least if I'm not last, it won't be me that I- that Ava yells at. So that's empty, um... There are various assorts, assortments of clothing on the rack. Most of these outfits would have been absolutely fine for the VIP dining area. Gotcha. Uh, anything in the boxes? Not really. It's a fictional book Scarlet was reading. The first page depicts a man with long, dark, spiky hair. He appears to be holding a vastly oversized sword. Oh, so this is new. A uh, Hydrelius Island, however you pronounce that, is a small island located northwest of Celia. While, it, while its population isn't particularly high, its culture more than makes up for it. Hydrelius Island, in, and in particular, Hakari Town, is known for its fierce and exciting festivals that are held all year round. Trainers from all over Aerith gather at Hydrelius, so don't miss out. Its gym leader, Karyo, is a particularly popular member of the public. Something Island also houses the Elite Four residing atop of the volcano. You can book your own ferry there from Celia. Hidden atop the volcano, one might be able to glimpse the fabled Pokemon League. Aerith's Pokemon, Pokemon League is as mysterious and enigmatic, however you say that, as it is prestigious and revered. After all, only the most accomplished trainers are invited. And in Aerith, where cities are separate, separated by such large bodies of water, finding all 12 badges is no easy feat. If you were to, if you were to make your way to the league, however, you might be able to meet the most prestigious trainers of all. The Elite Four, comprised of at comprised or comprised, I think I said that multiple times. Sorry, 
of Atlas Azaria or Azura, something like that, uh, Daemon, and Hendrik. Atlas, who burns away dissidents, however you say that, with his magical dragon and fire type Pokemon. Azura, whose cool ice and rock type Pokemon can be seen shining bright, brilliantly, brilliantly all over the island. Uh, Daemon, whose ghost dark type Pokemon are the least bit for the faint of heart. And finally, Hendrik, who guides the morality of the Elite Four with his virtuous normal type Pokemon. These trainers are undoubtedly the strongest within Arif. If you, reader, work hard enough, you might just meet them at the top. Cool, cool. Attention all, we are now passing Amaria Island, Kenneth Jungle. We are approxim approximately one hour away from Celia Island. Please make sure your luggage is well organized. Thank you for sailing with us, travelers. So, I guess then before we go to the... A cookout I do kind of want to explore uh, what an excellent place to tan huh why are you looking at me like that why would I go outside to tan when I can do so right here I don't want those people in the non VIP section to see me I couldn't imagine anything worse so I guess um, I'll just talk to everybody here um, I've been absolutely racking my brains lately. How is it that the population of Kenneth, or however you say that, has increased so quickly over a short period of time, not to mention the number of cruise ships in the area that have gone missing? None of this quite adds up. Quite adds up. No one wants to move to Kenneth, so why is it suddenly booming? Oh, my bad. I probably shouldn't mention the cruise ship part while we're here, you know. While we're, you know. On a cruise ship. Um, I'm heading to Blackview City. I'm really enjoyed. I've really enjoyed being away, and frankly, I don't even know why I'm going back. On reflection, I don't even know why I moved to the small keep in the first place. Darn it, I lost my Pokemon again. The stupid boat is way bigger than I remember. I really want to challenge Garrett, the fighting type gym leader. Apparently, he's usually found around Celia South, the slums of the city. I've seen some weirdos in blue cloaks wandering about. Honestly, they don't look very friendly, so I keep your distance, okay? Home is only a short way away now. We've just got to hang on a little while longer. The storage area can be found this way. No one is allowed past this point, I'm afraid. Please don't, please don't jump into the fountain. Honestly, I've had to clean it up enough. Clean up today. Please, I'm begging you. I guess he actually can't do that. Oh, I guess these kids are. Gotcha. So, it seems the others are somewhere else. Uh, this boat gives me the strangest vibes, man. Although that might be just me being jealous, jealousy coming through. I could afford the VIP section, you'd find me there. Unfortunately, work only paid for the cheapest option. Oh boy, I don't think I, I don't think that might be a little too deep for me. Stop being a wuss. You can do it. You can take these stairs up to the dining room trainer, VIPs only, as I'm sure you are aware. Okay, so I don't want to go there just yet. I want to explore. Uh, what are you looking at, huh? Oh, you don't know? Let me educate you a little bit. You're looking at the next champion of the Arif region. Yeah, that's right. I only need about 12 more badges until I've reached the peak. I'm very excited to land in Celia City soon. It's been a while since I saw my family on the dock side. Esper, we talked about this. Come on, stay calm. We're on a boat. It's meant to be moving. A poor Esper. The Esper seems to be holding back on un uncontrollable power. The objects around it seems to be vibrating. What are you talking about, man? Get it together, honestly. Ghosts aren't real. You know what is real? People in Amaria not having a place to live. 
No, I think it's you that doesn't get it. I'm telling you the Weeping Hills are definitely haunted. You do not want to build a new block over a massive burial site. Come on, that should be obvious. The Ralts looks excited to be on board. The Doduo looks like it wants to go outside. Silly is probably the only island in Arif that I want to live on. The other two major islands, Amaria and Arcanius, well, let's just say that they have a lot going on. And not much of it is good mate. Oh, Rosetta might tell you otherwise, but she doesn't know any better. Hold up in Celia. The worst part of exploring Arif is definitely the boat trips between the islands. Boy, do I get some bad seasickness. I want to train my Pokemon to be as strong as possible, but I've got to be careful. I've heard that if you train your Pokemon too hard, they become disobedient and won't listen to you anymore. It's all about balance, I suppose. I've got a ways to go. Looks excited. I'm not actually getting off at Celia. I'm waiting till my stop at Arcanius. It's a long way to go, that's for sure. Maybe I should have paid for the VIP room. Ready to fight the set of boxes. I'm a training lawyer working for a Celia Council. I usually work in the heart of Celia's Night District, Celia East. I've been on vacation for a while, but truth be told, I just want to get back home. I shouldn't imagine a better place than Celia East, although it's kind of strange the council couldn't get me a room in the VIP area. Actually, I guess there's nothing there. I know sometimes you can find items in those, but um, maybe not this time. Uh, there are numerous books on and pamphlets, sorry, and mostly related to tourism and Arif. Um, I've already read those, I believe. Uh, you must be one of the more well civilized people aboard. I'm sorry, I'm not one to one for idle chit chat. I'm not exactly on vacation, I'm afraid. As it would happen, my brother who lives in Selly has fallen into some kind of strange sleep. It's been weeks since he awoke, yet he is otherwise healthy. I fear the worst, really. I'm hoping to get a decent swim in today. The only issue is that we're passing through some pretty awful water soon. A Maria man, that place just ain't it. It seems to be an old journal detailing numerous locations around Arif. The author is simply named S. There are handwritten notes and scribbles screwed across her stern, however you say that. Uh, the original work as though someone has been studying it, studying it prof profus profusely, sorry. Um, I got an idea on who it is, but I don't want to spoil it. But I guess... I don't know if I want to read through his book, but I mean, I guess we can. My time exploring the island north of Kenneth took to Veyer, however you say that. One of Arif's least forgiving mountains, of course the entirety of its interior is flooded with lava, making it almost impossible to traverse. However, many travelers know that this is simply an addiction that there are secrets to be found numerous locate locals connected to this mountain to a legendary pokemon moltres and while i found numerous indicators of worship to moltres i was unable to track down the pokemon itself rumor has it that vera might actually or vire however you say that uh, may actually extend far deeper than what meets the eye However, I was unable to crack this mystery. Failure to solve this riddle still haunts me even to this day. Um, Astraceal is truly one of the greatest natural wonders known to mankind. When I first found, when I first stepped foot into the brightly colored neon woods, I knew that Arcanius was different somehow. There is so much more to do to that island than what you can traverse. There's some kind of energy to it, one that I can't simply, that I can't quite put my finger on. And when I try to peer closer, something inside pulls me away. Whatever this energy is, it was not meant for me to discover. 
Recently, I've heard rumors that there is a large underground section to the island. It must be taken with a grain of salt, as it's not something I've seen before. And trust me, I've looked. Whatever the case, a trace seal is doubt doubtlessly one of the most breathtaking and intriguing forests I have stood within. And when I next return, I expect to solve its secrets once and for all. Silver Forest and Silver Eyes in extension and very much a distant memory to me at this point as I explore this endless frozen wasteland of nothingness. I am forced to remember all that transpired here. I remember this place with a better resentment and little more long ago that wasn't the case. This place of course was once my home. It was the place where I discovered a kindship, hope, and to a degree of which I am uncertain, love. Now it is but a distant memory. It almost appears to watch you with its large, lifelike eyes. We're just, we're just passing by Kenneth Jungle, I think. I've heard all sorts of funky stories about that place. Apparently a lot of people dressed in old rags have started inhabiting the area in recent times. It's pretty strange considering no one has inhabited the jungle, well, pretty much ever. But listen here, some people have said that they're not from there of their own free will. Like someone's controlling them or something. I don't know, trainer. I ain't superstitious or nothing, but that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? It is a little bit concerning. I know we'll be, uh, meeting them soon. Ever since I met the man with the blue beard on the deck, I've become unbelievably thirsty. I don't know what's come over me. It's awful, trainer. Oh, thank god they didn't remove him. I really like the blue beard dude. I, I honestly, like, I don't know if he's, like, significant to, like, anything. It'd be goofy if he's, like, some, like, champion or something of the sort. I don't think so. But I really hope he's like some really just busted trainer or something of the sort. But I, I like it that like throughout like the game you can like meet up with him like here and there in different areas. So pretty goofy idea. In all my years I haven't truly really appreciated the beauty of Arif. Turns out there was much more to life than being stranded on Black View. Better late than never I suppose. So we can't go that way. So let's go. Let's see, we can't go there. I don't want to do that just yet. And what are we at? Uh, 38 minutes. We'll go a little bit longer. It's a real shame my vacation is almost over, but you know how it works. Celia North won't build itself, I'm afraid. I've heard stories of people inhabiting the Kenneth jungle in recent years. Totally weird, mate. This place is pretty much rock bottom. You couldn't pay me enough to spend a night there, that's for sure. Mother says I should stay on this wing of the cruise ship. She tells me that there are all sorts of upstarts around I don't really understand. Seeing as no matter where you stay on the cruise, the price is steep. Mother sure is strange, wouldn't you say? So that's locked. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Anything in the trash, though? Doesn't seem to be that. Or seem to be the case, I should say. Thank goodness we will soon arrive in Celia. Honestly, being stuck with all of these hopeless peasants has been enlightening. I'm quite happy with my life in Celia Central. If I may ask, judging by your clothes, how did you even get in a VIP room? Um... Interesting question. But I guess... I mean, we're not really formal by any means, but... Yeah. Uh, greetings, trainer. We should be arriving in Celia in not too long now. I hope your stay has been satisfactory thus far. Books, huh? Color me surprised. Didn't think anyone actually you know, read books anymore. Hey, you're with that green-haired girl, right? I know her. She's that gym leader from Arcanius. Hey, from a friend of friend. What are the chances you can slip me her number? 
Uh, zero. Okay, so that's locked. Nothing in here, I don't think. Um, so I guess the only place is up then. So I guess that is something that they chid, or did, not chid, I don't even know if that's even a word. I uh, did change. Um, that I remember you were able to go to like the dock, or not the dock, but like the deck of the ship and all, you know? Or maybe... No? I guess not. Let me look around real quick. So that's our rooms. That's locked. The other side was locked too, so I guess the only place is up. Darn it, where did I drop my handbag? Come on, Petalo. Now is not the time for this. Please, can we just go and have a civilized meal before all the tables are taken? Oh goodness, I really hope I look okay. Everyone here is so well dressed. God, you think there must they must have known I can't read. God, you think they must know us by now. This check is so ridiculous. Whatever. Lunch is lunch, right? Um Hey, wait. Please line up to have your identification checked before entering. Oh, so we gotta do it like that. Uh, this is taking forever, huh? I don't know about you, Elon, but I'm totally famished. All that stress really got to me. Stress? We've been on a holiday. What could you possibly be stressed about? Let's just chill out, yeah? We've got a little while longer until Celia and that's when the real stress starts. Because I'll be forced to talk to the other gym leaders. Have mercy. Next, please. So I see some of the people in the cloaks there, I believe. Um, yeah, on either side, so this is going to be interesting. Identification, please, ma'am. Oh, yeah, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, I swear I had it on me just before... Oh no, here we go again. Ma'am, you know the rules. No identification, no entry. Huh? I mean, can't you just let us through? We come here all the time, silly. By now, you should probably even know our last name. Please, ma'am, you need your identification. Okay, right. Come on, enough's enough, just let us through. Like, come on, you must know how who I am at this point, right? Right? Miss, please, just take a step. I mean... I don't really get Ava's... I mean, I guess it's like a personality thing, but it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Just go back to your room and get your ID and all, you know? It, it's it, it's not that big of a deal to make a fuss over it. I know I certainly wouldn't. Uh, that said, I've had enough. I can see that you're pretending to not recognize me, so let me set the scene once again. Ava, come on, this is totally uncalled for. Scarlet dear, could you zip it, please? What? Thanks. Now back to you. Let me educate you for a quick second, yeah? You may not know me, sailor boy, but you should, because I'm just- because I'm not just any trainer, no. I'm the strongest trainer on this silly boat of yours. My name is... Ava? Is that Ava the grass-type gym leader from Dark Root? Oh my god, you're real. I'm like your biggest fan. You know, I'm from Arcanius too. See? Hey, Ava. Oh wow, what am I doing shouting like this? Well, this is embarrassing. Yes, Ava, I get the point. I know who you are and, well, who all three of you are, in fact. I'm just trying to do my job, okay? Apology accepted. He didn't even have to, like... That's the weird thing. You don't even have to, like, apologize. Like, he literally just said it. Like, Ava, you gotta understand. I'm doing my job, you know? Like... If I need your ID, I, I need your ID, you know? It's it's policy, you know? Like, I, I get it. It's not his fault at all. I know it's a, it's not like a big deal like either, of course, you know. Ava's cool. Scarlet's cool. We're all cool. Um, but just something I thought I would say. Uh, come on, team. Let's go, some, let's go get some chow, yeah? 
I could eat a horse. I'm not even going to comment on that. I guess there's um, a few of the other people, but I won't get into that. Well, all that effort and there's not even anything to eat yet. I couldn't have planned it better myself. We just got here. I'm sure we can have afford to wait a little while for them to set up. I mean, come on, Ava. Brighten up a little. We're finally heading to Celia after all. The big city, the bright lights, and the coolest people in Arif. Not to mention Celia's gym leaders. They're all incredible. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint, but they're not exactly perfect. Case in point is that guy from the East District, Reeve. You wouldn't believe how much money he owes me, and he can certainly, and he can definitely afford it. Anyway, you're right, I guess. After all, we're finally going to meet Rosetta, and that's a dream come true. I know, right? Ever since I saw her on TV, I knew we had to take a trip back to Celia together. And here we are, you got your wish. Hey, those people next to us in the blue robes, they must be the folk the passenger around here have been stressing about, right? I think so. But maybe keep your voice down, otherwise they'll hear us, right? Yeah, well, not if we hear them first. Well, Amelia, you got what you wanted. You dragged all of us out here to meet with you, so please don't make this a waste of time. Your reputation would suggest that that this whole meeting was a predetermined or predetermined, premeditated attempt to eliminate numerous Team Crescent lieutenants in one fell swoop. Please don't think so little of me. Besides, it is you who must prove yourself to me. We're talking about trust after all. Look, Amelia, we're, all, we're on the same page here. Like we've said, your organization, the Black Foxes, could prove to be critical in the months to come. You've always shared our vision of a newer, better world, and this is the chance to capitalize. Or, I think that's what that said. Actually, I don't think that's what that said. I... I missed what that said, sorry. But anyways, allow the Black Foxes to absorb into Crescent and join us at the throne of the New World. Along with our leaders, you can forge the world with whatever ideals you see fit to create a better existence for everyone. How compelling, and how truly noble. How could I possibly say no to such an empathetic, 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 or I don't know how you say that. Argument. Fine, we'll join your merry little band of villains, but first I want insurance. Insurance? A true real a, a true real token of trust. And in this line of work, whatever better token than the very foundation of your corporations. Information, of course. Information? Fine, we could play ball with that. Excellent. Perhaps I misjudge the two of you. Not so long ago, I heard that your highest ranking lieutenant, Artem, went missing, and that even to this day, no one has found him. How terribly unfortunate. That's none of your business, Amelia. But yes, Artem is missing and we've had trouble tracking him down. That's your first strike, my fellow compatriot. Comp sorry. Trust, remember? You've already broken it. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. To have trouble tracking him down would suggest that you're actually searching for him, but according to my sources, you're not. Why would that be, I wonder? Amelia, the information that I seek is simple. Where did Artem go, and why is it that you don't wish for him to be found? Hmm. I have another theory. Perhaps Artem is not missing at all, and that this charade is simply means to cover up the truth. Artem is searching for something, something that you don't want me to know about. That's enough, Amelia. I told you we couldn't trust her. This is out of line. She's just using us like she does with everyone. Well, that trust isn't there after all, is it? I suppose such things must be earned. Fine, consider this meeting adjourned. Oh, how could I forget? That part where I joked about this whole thing about being premeditated, attempt to eliminate numerous Team Crescent lieutenants, well maybe you best watch your back, sometimes I take comedy pretty seriously. Um, excuse me? 
Is everything going to, is everyone going to pretend that we didn't hear that? Wow, nice one, Scar. You're doing pretty well to make us not look suspicious. Of course we heard it. Whatever, that woman is planning, it doesn't bode well for the people on the ship. What to do about it, however? Hmm. Alright gang, there's words usually... No, these words usually spill out spell out bad news, sorry. But I think we should split up. Split up? That's literally asking for trouble. Well, I'm waiting to hear a better idea. If we split up, we might be able to find some kind of clue as to what she's planning and, and with that... An opportunity to shut her down. Obviously, the two of us shouldn't engage her, but any kind of clue is a good place to start, right? This is a terrible idea even for you. I'm glad that your expectations are low and means you don't you won't be disappointed. Alon, it might be a good idea to seek out the captain before you before your search. If there's anyone else that should know something is going on here, it's him. You should be able to find him past those double doors over the piano. Just tell him I sent you naturally. It's not a stretch that he, like everyone on this ship, should know exactly who I am. Was that really necessary? Of course. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's go and save this vacation. Okay. So. As much as I really want to get to the point that we can actually get our first Pokemon we're about 51 minutes in so I think this is this is sorry a good spot to end off today's episode I would say normally for these kind of videos because um, Desolation same with Rejuvenation and Reborn is much more story driven than a lot of other fan made games this one normally will be around let's just say the least 35 minutes at the most maybe about an hour i don't want to push an hour if i don't have to but if i get too stuck into the story there may be a few episodes that get to that length uh, so yeah now um what was i gonna say one more thing that's right um i know normally i only like to have three let's plays at a time on the channel um that may be changing here soon um, because we actually do plan, or well, me and a few internet friends, we may be getting into a new series, uh, Trucker Simulator. Well, American Trucker Simulator. Just kind of a goofy idea, but um, uh, I'm getting sidetracked there. Uh, currently, we have three games going on One Shot, Reborn, and uh, Pokemon Xenoverse. Uh, Pokemon Xenoverse is going to stay um, every Wednesday. And I believe we are almost wrapping up that series, so when that is done, Desolation will be up every Wednesday, but, th but for the time being, it should be uploaded every Tuesday. I know this is Saturday, but um, actually, originally, I was going to upload it Friday, I believe, but there was that one bug that I couldn't even load into the game, so they had to make a patch, and that is why I'm uploading this today, so... Yeah, but every uh, Tuesday and potentially Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday is when the next uh, Desolation video should be. But every Tuesday until Xenoverse is done, uh, there will be a Desolation video. I guess to give a little summary of like the schedule that I do, every Monday is One Shot, every Wednesday is Xenoverse, and every Friday is Pokemon Reborn. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday are normally a toss-up day. There may or may not be a video on those days, but since we have Xenoverse going on, we'll just make this every Tuesday for the time being, and you may see one or two of these videos a week. We'll have to just see how that goes because I have work and all of that, so yeah. But anyways, before I ramble any further, again, thank you to all, to all of the developers that have helped out with the making of this game. I am very, very excited and very, very grateful for what you have done, and I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, definitely do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.